Hello and welcome to Last Night's Watch, your weekly Game of Thrones discussion show, right here every Monday on GamesRadar.com. I'm Andy Hartup and I'm joined, as ever, by Lauren O'Callaghan. Hey everyone. Yeah, this is it. Game of Thrones is back for season six and we could not be more excited if we tried. But if you haven't seen the first episode yet, you need to turn away now because this show is going to be full of so many spoilers it'll make you cry. Every week we're going to be pulling apart the main discussion points from each episode. So um, let's get cracking. Your watch has begun. What was that? It's the line. We do like a line every week. That's the line you're going to do? That's really good. Yeah, okay. This week's episode is called The Red Woman, and let's talk about the big thing that happened. Jon Snow is back, sort of. I saw him in the flames, fighting at Winterfell. I can't speak for the flames, but he's gone. So yeah, Jon Snow, he's back. He's, uh... Still dead. He's still dead. He's still dead. I mean, he was stabbed seven times. Yeah. yeah. But they've taken his body into a room in Castle Black. Yeah. Uh, him and Sir Davos Guarded and um, a couple of his BFFs. Yeah. Uh, Ghost is back. Brilliant yeah. Ghost. Um, but yeah, he's still dead. Uh, well, Melisandre's in there as well. Do we think? Well, she this had a quick look. Yeah. She, she had, had a quick look. She said that he was dead, which we knew, and then she left. So where does this leave him? Is he just going to stay dead? Uh, surely, like they've got all the elements in there. Melisandre's in there. She can literally bring him back to life. Is he just going to stay? How long is he going to stay in that room as a corpse? I mean, I think we all like know by now that he probably isn't going to stay dead. But I'm looking forward to seeing how long HBO can keep him on ice until they actually get round to sorting out that uh, plot line. Keep him on ice. Yeah. Great. Yeah. 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 Do you like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably better than my opening joke. So, Obviously. Um, Kit Harrington. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think he got the scripts and goes? I'm just looking through it. You know, I haven't got any lines. I I'm actually, just a corpse. I actually think he's done some of his best work yet. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen. I thought that was unfair. He's a great actor. You leave him alone. <laughs> okay. Um, so Melisandre, that was the big, uh, the big point of the ep this episode, right at the end. Yeah. Um, the she's big uh, getting all naked in front of the mirror, and uh, yeah, she's uh, an old crone. Yeah. That, that sort of ruined it for me a little bit. Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. It's quite disappointing. <laughs> I mean, it was it was a bit of a surprise. I'm not going to lie. Didn't really expect that. But I think it was really awesome as well how they've kind of like, you know, nudity is a significant part of Game of Thrones so far. But they've kind of turned it on its head here. I mean, the nudity is definitely still there, but it's not exactly what everyone's come to expect. No. I, I think the main theme of this episode is that uh, it's bit giving greater prominence to all the female characters in the show. Um, they're all sort of winning at the moment. Yeah. So we had um, Sansa, she's on the up, rescued yeah. by Brienne. I mean, mm -hmm. that was fantastic. Um, Illyria down in Dawn. Now, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Mm. She's killed the king. Uh, the prince is dead. They're on the up. I, I just feel like women have always been treated as sort of the underlings in Game of Thrones. It's very much been a man's world. Yeah. But they're on the up now. Like, And yeah. I think HBO... It's very much captured as a zeitgeist with this. It's it's very sort of it's a very in thing at the moment. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. It's absolutely great, and it's it's sort of it's very very on trend. I mean, I think it'd be safe to say that Game of Thrones, like strong women in Game of Thrones, is nothing new. They've always yeah. had that. But I think the point is that that usually behind the scenes, or like you know behind the throne, usually it's, there's a king, there's a man. This is the episode where actually they're stepping out of the shadows and they're actually coming to the forefront and it's going to be really, really interesting. And that leads us nicely into the first of our regulars of the TV show where Andy and I quiz each other about Game of Thrones knowledge to see who knows more. You can play along as well. Uh, for this first week, I'm going to be asking the question. So Andy, are you ready? Nope. So in the f episode that we've just watched, Daenerys is back being held captive by a Kalasar, uh -huh. and they're going to. I know his name. Is that the question? No. Wait. Okay. Fine. Okay. Go on. So, the Carl that has captured her is going to take her back to. <laughs> to uh, yeah. There's Dothrak. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce yeah. it. That's like yeah. the third different way you pronounced it. <laughs> We're not. See, the question is not my pronunciation. I'm asking you a question, okay? Well, okay. All yeah. right then. What is it? The question is, when was she last there? Where? There's Dothrak. <laughs> um, it was when she uh, she was almost poisoned by that wine merchant. Mm, was it? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Okay, Andy thinks he's right, but let's be honest. 
there's probably a good chance he's not. If you think you know the answer, put it in the comments below. OK, next point of discussion, moving swiftly on, mm -hmm. after my knowledge has been painfully exposed. Um, we're going to talk about what's happening in Dawn, uh, a, bit of a bit of a political coup going on in Dawn. <laughs> Yeah, so Illyria didn't even bother trying to cover up the fact that she killed Marcella. She just killed some more people. Well, I mean, you know, you're in deep. You may as well just keep going, keep, keep digging. Keep. Um, I think there's, there's two... There was always going to be two elements to this. She was either going to get punished by Prince Doran, and who would probably have killed her. Yeah. Or, you know, she had to go all in. She had to essentially declare war on King's Landing because that is essential. That's what happened. Yeah. Because there's no way... There's no way you can send a princess back to King's Landing and expect not to go to war. So... I think, you know, it's on, the war yeah. between Dawn and the Lannisters. But who's going to win? Ooh, I think it's going to be the Lannisters. Do you reckon? You know I'm Team Lannister. Yeah? So I've got you're to team say Lannister. I'm Team Lannister. I'm sorry, you're Team Lannister. I'm Team Lannister. Okay, That's right. Brilliant. All right, okay, let's just pretend you didn't say that. Um, yeah, so is Illyria now in charge then? Is she now the Princess of Dawn because she killed That's the prince? That's not the way it works. Pretty sure that's not. Kind of looks like it works that way. No, she's just. I think she's got the support of the common people. Yeah. I mean, Dawn's taken. Dawn's taken a lot of shit, really, hasn't it? Yeah. It's had its prince. Its prince was killed. Its princess was killed, and their, their kids killed. I mean, mm. it's a hot, it's, They've been through a load of shit, and they've really been. They've really been sort of subjugated by the Lannisters. Yeah. And it's their time to come back because of all the Lannisters. There's Cersei and Jaime back in King's Landing. Jaime's a bit crippled. Cersei's a bit broken. And King yeah. Tommen, who's like four, he's not four, he's like nine, isn't he? He's practically, he's a boy. Yeah. So now is the time to come back against the Lannisters. The Lannisters' grip on King's Landing has never been weaker. Yeah. And they're, they're coming from. They need to watch out, basically. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Um, so as ever, you can uh, get more insight from us uh, by following us on Twitter. I'm at Andy Hartup, and Lauren is at Lauren Holly OC. Um, but for now, let's move on to our favourite line of the week. And it comes from the scene where Ramsay Snow is uh, grieving the loss of Miranda. Grieving. Yeah. Um, sometimes the clips are going to be funny. Sometimes they're going to be quite grim. I think this one falls into both categories. Yeah. Damn good line. Buried, burned. This is good meat. Feed it to the hounds. Yeah, that was a good line, that. Better than yours, anyway, about the watch. <sighs> That was a good line. That, that is comedy gold, that line. Okay. You could, you could melt that line down and make Jamie Lannister a new hand out of it. What? <laughs> keep I'm all over it. Keep telling yourself that. Keep telling yourself that. <sighs> okay. Let's move on to our third and final discussion point of this episode. Uh, Brienne, finally done something right. She's finally rescued one of the Stark daughters. Who saw it coming? <laughs> it's a bloody woman. <laughs> Yeah, Brienne's back. Uh, she had one job. She's had one job throughout all four series, which is to <laughs> rescue a Stark girl. She's finally done it. She's finally done it. Finally. Um, I love that bit. I mean, it was quite predictable because yeah. Brienne's sort of in the same region as, as Theon and, and Sansa, and she's, you know, riding around, fresh from maybe killing King Stannis, maybe not. Maybe. Oh, he's going to be back in the end. So it was quite predictable, but I loved it anyway. Yeah. It was that classic sort of Game of Thrones hurrah moment, which yeah. season five lacked. Yeah. There was a lot, a distinct lack of hurrah moments. Yeah. I'm not going to do another hurrah because it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But where are they going to go from here? Like, I think... River Run. Is They're it? Going to River is Run. it? Yeah. I mean, we know that we know that Brienne ends up in River Run because we've seen in the trailers that she stood there with the Tully banner behind her, and I guess it would make sense because that's where Sansa has family still. Mm -hmm. But River Run's still kind of having issues with the Frey household. I'm not sure that they can sneak in exactly without anyone spotting them. And the Boltons are obviously looking for Sansa because, as we know, if she doesn't produce an heir, that's going to be a bit of a problem for them. Oh, I love that bit about Roose Bolton sort of went to Ramsay pointedly. Oh, yeah. Ah, yes, the maester says it's going to be a boy. How? But, how? Yeah, how? Pile on the pressure. <laughs> like, did they, did they, like, have a scan? How do they know it's going to be a boy? I don't know what no. the scanning technology is like. In the <laughs> probably quite poor. Probably quite bad, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I, I, th I thought that bit was pretty good. I think it was quite nicely pointed. Uh, I think, I think uh, we're going to see a character from the books who is going to help them get into River Run who has not yet appeared... Which character? In the show. Well, she has technically appeared in the show. It's going to be Lady Stoneheart, isn't it? 
Mm, she's she's going to be the key to getting them into River Run. I mean, I personally would love to see Lady Stoneheart, but if you haven't read the books, you don't know what we're talking about, so... Read the books. Yeah. Yeah. There's <laughs> only like 500 of them. It's fine. <laughs> They're about yeah. 7,000 pages Read them all long. in a weekend and get yeah. back to us. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so those are the main talking points for this week, but what's going to happen next episode? Uh, Jon Snow, right? Jon Snow's going to happen. Back, yeah, he's coming back to life, isn't he? Are you sure about that? Yeah. I, don't know. I, I say that at the start of every show. I say, <laughs> <laughs> this will be the week. Jon Snow's coming back this week, and there'll be like dead Kit Harrington sat on a slab, <laughs> just earning a paycheck. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how many episodes HBO is going to drag this out for. Jon Snow is a corpse. Hopefully. How long are they going to keep it on ice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. But hopefully for the entire season, and then in the last one, he'll just pop up right at the end and go, Hi guys, I'm back. Do you think that'll be his line? I would love that if Hi that guys, was his I'm line. Back. Like Spider Man. Hey everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, what do we think is going to happen uh, down in Dawn? Like, what's going to happen now? Well, I'm just going to say not much for now because it takes a while to get an army together to prepare for war. Probably some news is going to travel. Maybe they're going to get a threat from the Lannisters. But I think we're going to have to wait and see before that kind of culminates. Yeah. I think we're going to get a lot of continuation plots. I yeah. don't think there's going to be any significant events apart from Jon Snow coming back to life. <laughs> But there's going to be a lot of continuation plots, which are going to be, yeah, Sansa's going to get a bit closer to River Run. Uh, Tyrion and Varys are going to wander around uh, Marine for a little yeah. bit. Um, we're just going to get a lot of sort of build up to maybe yeah. a big episode. May maybe we'll episode get a look at some of the characters we didn't this time. I mean, this episode was pretty good about focusing on everyone we care about. But Ooh, like Sam, Hodor. we didn't Hodor. see. Hodor, we didn't see. Hodor. <laughs> no yeah. Hodor watch. Um, so hopefully next episode we'll catch up with them as well. And never know, maybe Ariel will get a sight back and stop being beaten up. Yeah, so that's what we've been talking about this week. If you think we've missed anything vitally important from the episode, let us know in the comments below. As ever, we'll be counting down the days till the next episode of Game of Thrones, like Reek eagerly waiting for his penis to grow back. <laughs> um, if you like the video or like what you've seen today, hit like. It means a lot to us. Uh, and if you want to make sure that you never miss an episode of the show again, hit subscribe. Uh, this week on GamesRadar.com, we're having a Game of Thrones week, so there's going to be all sorts of good Game of Thrones stuff on there for you to get your teeth into. That's it for this episode. Um, your watch has ended. Are you going to do that every week? Mm.